we are in a crisis. Six years ago, low rainfall, reduced hydro dam levels and a fault in the Basslink undersea power cable converged to create a protracted energy crisis in Tasmania. I know it's frustrating. We share everyone's frustration. Our most recent summer and autumn were even drier than that, and water levels in hydro dams have now fallen below a safety mark established after the 2016 energy crisis. This is completely normal. The, th this is the energy security framework acting as it's meant to be. Dams were at 41% of their capacity this time last year. Now they're down to 32.7%, just below what's called the prudent storage level. It still leaves a buffer above Hydro Tasmania's critical minimum, called the high reliability level. The prudent storage level is uh, a buffer above that, which acts as some, a form of early warning system that means we may need to take steps to maintain storages. Energy analyst Mark White says Tasmanians shouldn't be alarmed. The dam levels now are very close to the dam levels at the same time of year in 2015. The major difference is we've got two new wind farms since then. Hydro are taking a very conservative and prudent approach when it comes to our energy store levels. And can I say that uh, our energy security is not at risk. But Tasmania's biggest energy users, mining and manufacturing businesses, are watching the situation closely. They're worried about how energy-hungry companies looking to invest in Tasmania will react. Anybody that's looking to use um, the loads that are, that are available here in Tasmania or that will become available um, needs stability. You know, we're talking about significant capital investment. It's just an example again of the poor management of this government, particularly the energy minister, to make sure we've got energy security uh, assured in Tasmania. Hydro Tasmania says dam levels are now rising and it's taking steps to preserve that water. What that practically means at the moment is is importing more energy uh, from the mainland um, and looking at other options we may have in the future, in, including the Tamer Valley Power Station. We're not there yet. Hydro Tasmania has been limiting the use of the Tamar Valley Power Station recently due to high gas prices. Laura Beavis, ABC News.